Okay, welcome to another video on our application that we're creating with the Firebase database. In the next few videos, we're going to work on the edit process. So we're going to create a pop-up dialog box and then allow the changes to be saved and then it'll be just like creating a hero with this form down here, but instead it'll be an update operation instead of a create operation. So the first thing we have to do is figure out how to do these pop-up boxes. They're called modals. And so to find out how modals work, we're going back into the Bootstrap website. So this uses the section called JavaScript, and JavaScript is the programmable things like dropdowns and modals. So let's choose modal here. So what's a modal look like? It looks like that right there. It's got the title, body, and then uh, let's see what this one might look like. So you click a button, and you get a pop-up window, and you can put anything in it you want. So we're going to basically start with this real simple one and make it look a little bit like the uh, edit mode that we have at the bottom of our page. So let's copy this here. That'll be our modal starter point. So we're going to copy this code and bring it over to our text editor. Now our modal is supposed to go near the top of the page. So the login form is not near the top right now. Modals are invisible. so they only show up after we call them so this is going to be called the edit modal and we'll paste it in there okay so that's the basic code right there if we save it and we update, update our browser uh, it doesn't show up a modal is invisible until you actually call it so let's go back into the uh, coding area and let's see what a live demo looks like so this button controls the modal so this here, this data target is key. This is the button's way of saying, I am related to my modal. So where do we want to put this button? Well, for our purposes, let's put it right at the top of the page for now. And uh, instead of my modal, we're going to call this thing, uh, I'm going to call it edit hero. And we need to go into our ID for this line and we're going to call this thing edit hero. So now we got this button kind of out of place, but if I click it, sure enough, we've got ourselves a modal working. So all of the programming that goes behind this is taken from the people at Bootstrap. So we didn't have to learn how to code any of it or or format it. However, we don't want it to show the usual demo we want to have an edit mode so we're gonna take our current new hero and uh, we're gonna make that into our modal section here called modal title we can easily replace that we're gonna say edit this hero and now in the body where it says one fine body we're going to delete all that we're gonna take the code from our, our hero and we're gonna paste it into our modal Let's go to the add hero form and copy everything all the way down to the bottom. So it's a lot of code to copy. I'm going to put it right into here. Let's see what nut what 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 this looks like. So let's save it and let's refresh the page. So now when we click here, we get ourselves uh, something kind of like what we wanted. It doesn't look quite exactly the same. We've got some issues. Let's go and fix those. So let's let's take out the well. We can remove that. And down here at the bottom, we're going to have to remove another div. Let's see if that makes any difference. Ah, took out the gray part. Let's take out the other stuff that we had here, a container. And let's remove that. So we go down to the bottom and we have to take out another div. Let's save it and see if that makes any difference. Okay, it looks like it's behaving normally now. So it's kind of fitting inside of our modal. So that seems to work. We're able to run this thing and it behaves like it's supposed to. But we have an issue. All of these controls here have IDs and they are identical to the ID that's at the bottom of the screen. So you're not supposed to use the same control ID on two different points on the page. You don't really know what your button listeners are going to do. So we need to go and rename all these. So I'm going to go into these controls and everywhere I see the word input or some kind of a ID here, 
I'm going to just prefix it with the word edit. So edit input hero name. And then up here, we're going to have the word edit again. So let's go through all the control names and let's find their IDs and change them to say edit. Okay, so double check your work. Make sure you got edit listed wherever there used to be just the ID. You got edit is a prefix. So when we run this, it still looks the same. However, the, um, the button ID is different from the uh, listener that we've programmed earlier. So that's a good stopping point right now. In the next video, we're going to populate these so that when we click on the edit button for the wizard, or whoever he is, Harry Potter, it's going to put his name in here and tell us who his race is and automatically set all the controls to the values that were previously set up. And when we click on the create button, it'll actually be update the button instead of create.